And then he rose again to give you victory over them. Yep. Amen. So what you're about to do is you're going to go into waters. And symbolically what we do as we go into waters is kind of as we just saying, sin is broken. God gave us victory over sin. Amen. And so as you go into the water, you're acknowledging publicly in front of friends and family that you acknowledge that he died for your sin. But the good thing about our Savior is he didn't, he didn't stay in the grave. He rose again. So as you're lifted up out of that water, symbolically, you've risen again with him. Can you believe that? Yes. So I just simple question. What brings you to this moment where you feel, hey, I'm ready to get baptized? Well, I've been struggling for years with uh, addiction. I just recently spent some time in prison. Um, excuse me. Um, but yeah, while I was in there, I had a couple brothers started teaching me the word. Jesus Christ is your Lord. 
Lord and Savior? Yes. And have you decided to live for Him and to be a Christian in the, in the purest sense of the word? Yes. Amen. If you just give us a moment and uh, just tell us what brought you to the point of wanting to be baptized. Um, well, I had been a follower of Christ for a while and I wanted to kind of make this public statement and I heard people were doing it and you talk about it in youth group and said I would do it as well. I'm going to invite you to go back with Pastor Michael's chair on.
this is Brittany. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Brittany, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. And have you accepted the fact that uh, He's not only died for your sins, but He lives now to give you victory over those sins? Yes. And are you committed to uh, to live for Him and to serve Him for the rest of your life? I am. What brings you to the point? Why uh, Why do you feel like you want to get baptized today? Well, three years ago, um, I knew about Jesus Christ, but I didn't know too much about Him. But your family brought me to Jesus Christ, learning about Him. And I want to make a public statement because... I love Jesus.
that the world has a lot to offer, but in terms of Jesus Christ, what Jesus has to offer, you cannot buy it. You cannot do anything. You can't earn it. There's nothing in the world you can do or where you can find what you're finding here this morning in the church of Jesus Christ. This morning, as I often do, or most often, I invite others to be baptized. And in some churches, that's not permitted. But here, we believe that God speaks to us where we are. Amen. And I open this up to the congregation. If you have answered those questions that Dr. Ron and I have been asking, and you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, doesn't mean to have it all together because none of us do. But it means that I'm at a point where I need Jesus in my life and I've accepted Him as my Savior. If you have come to that point and you have made that decision for Christ, the Bible says, be saved and be baptized. That's what the says. Be saved and baptized. And so you're saved. Now what? Be baptized. And if you can say and declare as a public witness today that it's your desire and intention to live your life as best you know how, as best the Lord leads you through the scriptures, through his teaching, that you will accept that declaration, make that declaration, you will live for Christ, that you can be baptized today. And as I say that, And uh, you're, you're, you feel called to, uh, to be baptized. Like I've said, I'm going to pass it on. Yeah. Yeah. Savior? Yes. What uh, what's prompted you to, to make this commitment?